Hello, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about uh, the HTML5 editor and we go a little bit more in depth about what this site means and how this site works before we are actually going to edit this page. So over here, you've got the layout page. What this means is that basically you can imagine a bookshelf and in each bookshelf, you have different books. And in each book, you have different chapters. Well, it's the same. This is our bookshelf. These are our books. And inside of these books are the chapters inside of our uh, books. So why do you want to do this? Why do you want to uh, have these different pages, different looks, etc.? Let me explain you why. Right here, you can see in the black part, that's our header. In the bottom, if we go all the way down, that's our footer. These two things are always the same in each book or in each layout. Each layout has a fixed header and a fixed footer. Now, let's say you want to open up a memberships area. And in the membership area, you want to have a different header and footer than you want on this page. Well, then what you do is you create a new layout and the cool thing is that when you open up layouts, you get a chance to select one of all these pages again and basically make a second website inside of your website. You create a different uh, layout for your website. So maybe you want to have an opt-in form to sell a specific product, but at the same time have your real website available as well for the people who just land on your basic website. Well, this is why layouts come into place, or like I like to say, the books. Different books, different meanings. You can design everything different and keep it in the same URL. So this website, it goes by entering in here, and here you see the different pages. We've got a blog page, we've got our home page, and we've got, uh, this is in Portuguese, Pagina Noticia. And this is a uh, part of our blog. So what I want to do is I want to start along with the home page, but first I want to take you through a tour through the editor. This is your, um, yeah, your CSS, your fonts. If you take a title and you take, for example, title XL, every time you select title XL in your text editor. So let me go in here. Every time you select the title over here, you will get the presets that you do over there. Now there is a big but because in the previous editor, this is the old one. Everything you did in this one would be linked to this one. But in the new editor, I feel like I've got a lot more freedom. So I feel like this is a lot less important because we can customize everything uh, as we go. So. I'm not 100% sure how this new editor that just came out is affecting this feature. But for now, uh, you just have to understand that these are your groups and you can design and adjust these colors, styles, etc., to adjust your page. Now you get whatever you wanna do, you're gonna use the plus sign. When you click the plus sign, you can see a lot of uh, a lot of different tools. And my advice to you is before you start building anything in this builder is go to the tools, check out what is what, check out the things you might use, check out what it is, play around with it, spend a day just playing around and having a look at um, okay, so if I click on text, what's happening? I get these texts, these are the titles, I get the paragraphs, I get a text animation, I get the letter effects. Okay, now try to think about how you could use what in which situation. Uh, banners. With the banners, what are banners? Let me explain you quickly what are banners. Banners are, um, let me click on one. This is a banner and a banner is just an element that controls everything you put on there. So let's say I want to put this on top of this banner. Now I can move this whole area inside with this banner. Everything stays stuck on that. It's basically a canvas. We paint something on the top of the banner. We design something on top of the banner. And then all we have to do is design the banner and move the banner in the right position. So one thing that's really cool is 
the feature on the right top. If you want to move something down, you can just do it like this, but you will see it, it's floating. But if, let me change that actually and go back. Okay, let me just delete the banner. I right just right click and I hit delete. Let's say you have this banner here. This is a banner and it has a gallery on top of it and that's it. If I move it, it will move everything on top of that. So now let's say I don't want to move it like this because that means that I would have to move everything down as well. Now the gallery disappears underneath. So if I want to avoid that, I'll have to hit a few steps backwards, make sure it's correct. So I want to add another element in here. I want to add a new banner. And the cool thing is that, that's why I say you have to go through it to have a look. What they did now is they added all these different banners in there. So you can get different pricings, about us banners, benefits, headlines, features, checkout modules. They did a lot of pre-design work and all you have to do, so let's say we have here the AB split testing. I wanna do an about us. I go there, about us, and I wanna add this banner in there. So now if I wanna add this banner, it's really hard for me to to edit it in because there's no space over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the banner up here above that and then I'm gonna grab this little arrow because if I just move it like this, nothing will, uh, it will only move the banner. But if I grab this, I can just drag it down and everything will drag down with it. Everything that's below, nothing will change. So we're gonna drag it down all the way. So now we have enough space. So now we're gonna grab this, go down and say, okay, I wanna put this here. And then I've got this space left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the banner, drag it here and drag it up until it's closing. And just like that, we use the banner to perfect our page. Now here something is wrong. So I'm just gonna click the banner. I'm gonna drag it a little bit bigger. Voila, that looks better. This space shouldn't be there. This is the footer. I'm gonna click on the footer. I'm gonna go on the line, drag it up, and we're good to go. So now we just added a whole different element. Let's make this text. Select it all. Let's make it black or almost black. And suddenly we created a whole new element inside of our web page showing us the services we have, who we are, we showcase ourselves, we give our pricings, we show where we're located, and we tell people where to find us. So I like to put this a bit lower, which means I'm gonna put this slightly lower as well. Let me see, something like this, then up it, voila, I like that a lot more. Maybe I wanna move this Put this centered and then move this to the middle. And now I like it even more. I can give it a little preview. And we've got a text here. This is the text that comes from the banner that probably got stuck off there. So let's not edit it, but let's just do it like this. So now we go, this probably also comes from the banner. <laughs> Let's put this one. Oh, This is not how it's supposed to be. Let me just click reverse. That's the nice thing. If you just click reverse, you go back to the previous action. So take the social media thing, put it on there. And let's preview it again. So now it's looking good. You see, in a few minutes, we already managed to create a website. So I hope you understand what banners are. Banners are just a canvas that you put 
on your website and then you can drag stuff on your banner and then from that you can design your page in different blocks but we're going to teach you more about that later let's go back over here we've got not only the banners the banners are the things that i use most that's why i started with that but email marketing you get contact forms which are basic forms but email marketing is what brings everything together let me just click on that and select something uh let me select this one so now it opens up. You can have Mailchimp, Aweber, Mautic, but why would you do that? Because if you have if you have Buildroll, you have Mailing Boss. So we click on Mailing Boss. It automatically connects with your Mailing Boss, and the list that we made in the um, very first video, it's already there. Buildroll you. So we just click on that, and as you can see, we have. Now we have to find a nice place for it. Let me just put it here. So gonna when you see, by the way, I just want to add to that. When you see that it's highlighted blue, like let me put it there. Right now, if it's right now, it's on the full page. That's why everything is blue. But the moment I drag it over a banner, the banner will turn blue, and it means that now it's connected to the banner. So I don't want these social media things, or I want them, but I want them. Um, uh, higher up somewhere I'm gonna place them later and I want this one to be shown here so I can I now have an email form that's automatically working I can just right click here change the appearance and often there are some presets where you can adjust but now we've got this one right click on the little configuration wheel and over here we can edit the looks like if we want to have something look different we can adjust it here now i think it needs to be smaller because it's too big so what we're gonna do is let me see this is changing the spacing so the height between the two forms so i want to get rid of the enter your full name i'll do that later in a different uh, topic so I'm going to have to look and see the size. This is the button size. Oh yeah, that's true. It's the, the top is the um, uh, form size and the bottom is the button size. And I want to change the form size. So I'm going to go down and I'm trying to find the sizing from the form which i don't know why i didn't think about that <laughs> is done like this so i can just drag it make it smaller and have it size like this so options field content let me just open the same tab okay so this is the form that i filled in it's not 100 percent uh, accurate I normally never fill it in and use it. I did it for this tutorial, so I'm going to take it out after. But going to options, field content will show it. That's better. I, I prefer to do it like this. I'm going to take out the enter your full name in the mailing balls later on once we finish and polish the uh, site. But now you're going to get an idea about how it's going. And as you can see, it's not that I pre program everything before I make this course. I just go and I'll show you how it works i show you what i'm doing and i show you how you can use that for your business so in the meantime i'm just playing around with it a little bit dragging this over here i really like this as well this type of look so maybe i'm gonna drag it over there you can small make this smaller and add it like this now it doesn't make sense to have an email form there. It's just for the example, but that's what I want to show you for this video. So that's this video. In the next video, we are gonna talk about the anchor points and how to align them. And of course, how to add the about us section inside of the menu. So we can balance it out and make sure that the menu is working according to the way we developed the website. So see you in the next video.